somewhat rounded in shape which forms the medial boundary of cubital fossa and it has two heads of origin before that there is a common flexor origin which is nothing but the anterior aspect of medial anterior aspect of medial epicondyle of the humerus this is considered as common flexor origin that means majority of the superficial flexor muscles of the forearm takes origin from this point that is the anterior aspect of the medial epicondyle of the humerus which is considered as common flexor origin so this pronated teres also takes origin from the humerus and ulna it has two heads of origin first origin is humeral head which arises from the common